Good morning, Rob here. Just arrived at Kennesaw Mountain and we are gonna go for a run, hopefully all the way to the top of the mountain. And it is a glorious morning, so I'm trying to make the most of it. I mean, it's not even close to humid. This is great. If you never get up here from Atlanta, this is a really great place to run. It's shaded, but today's not that big a deal because it is, it is such nice weather. Um, it's not even remotely humid, but uh, there's water fountains along the route. Um, and there's multiple parking lots. So I started out at Cheatham Hill, and it's about six miles, I think. Oh, five and a half miles, I think, to uh, to the visitor center from there. So we're gonna go out and back, and probably add on a trip to the top of Kennesaw Mountain. Uh, I mean not a cloud in the sky so it should get us some pretty nice views of Atlanta and, and all around um, definitely a rolling run so be ready for a spiked heart rate but other than that it is truly a great place to run here in Atlanta although technically I guess it's not in Atlanta So the trail up here, it's really pretty nice. It's wide, a little rocky, a little rooty. Um, you can definitely get by without a trail shoe. I'm in a Mizuno Wave Shadow 2. So uh, a little older shoe. I think there's a newer version out now. Um, it's essentially a lightweight wave rider. The neutral shoe. Um, and it really handles the, the surface here, no problem. Trail shoe. I give you a little bit more cushion, but but not not essential. It's just constant up and down here. It's kind of nice. Definitely get me fit again, but uh, just never get to sell. It's just all the way up from here now. All the way up. <laughs> all right, we are nearing the, the almost top. Wait, the park on what you can drive to. All right, that's it. We're at the top, Kennesaw Mountain. Whew. It's about a mile to the top. It honestly sucks, but it's really not that far. And you just gotta keep moving. And you get up here, I'm actually kind of surprised, considering how nice the day is, how quiet it is up here. Pretty cool to be in a city that has this much green space. So close. There's some there's some other trails that come that come off the top of this. You can head straight down the other side, loops around. Um, check out the trail maps, they all they all connect. Um, and you'll end up at your car eventually, even if you do take a wrong turn. Alright. Off we go. You never guessed it, but it's way more enjoyable on the way down. Um, you can come down really pretty quick. As long as you feel comfortable going quick on the rocks. The top section of that is by far the rockiest of um, by far the rockiest of the whole route. Two and a half miles to go. Trying to enjoy this 
little bit of downhill. I know once I get to the Pigeon Hill parking lot, it's, it's a little bit more rolling and it includes, a, I think, a half mile hill, which was great to come down. It will probably be less great to go back up. Um, but we're almost home and I'm really enjoying this run. So the hills are, are what they are. We're a little ways in to this almost final hill. Once I get to the top, it's a mile back to my car. So not horrible. I just gotta keep moving. All right, that's it. Kennesaw Mountain and back. That was a really good run. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you saw some things that might make you want to come up here. Um, yeah, thank you for coming along. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely if you like our content. Have a good week, guys.